And welcome to another installment of The Wonder Room, where we are creating a virtual cabinet of curiosities with objects from around the world. Today, we have Eva Jorn, who is a senior at Denison University. She is a geology and with a minor in biology, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Biology, and she is also a senior museum collections intern. Uh, welcome, Eva. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, I I could not not have one of our seniors <laughs> participate. Um, yeah. Eva has been with us for a number of years and has served the museum in a variety of capacities on the collections team. And I'm really curious, what object are you selecting? <laughs> yeah, so I chose something that's kind of a nice combination of my two loves, which are geology and archaeology. Um, and so what these are, I'll show you, they're a little hard to see because they're very small, um, mm -hmm. but these are little um, little bits of volcanic debris from the 79 AD eruption of Pompeii. So these are what we call lapilli in um, geology speak, which basically just means it, it's a class size of volcanic debris. So they're smaller volcanic debris. Um, and these are, again, pieces of the volcano and the magma that fell on the city of Pompeii. So how did you come across these <laughs> volcanic debris? And I got them when we visited um, with a class trip with Dr. Kennedy, who you of course know, uh, on this amazing trip. And we got to visit the ancient city of Pompeii, which is near Naples, Italy. Um, and it's a really cool um, archeological site because it's a city essentially frozen in time. Um, it was destroyed during the eruption, but also preserved in the eruption because it was buried under um, four to six meters of ash and tuff, which you know unfortunately killed a lot of people, but um, presently is a bounty of archeological evidence of art, you know, there are um, facades and paintings preserved there and buildings and even, um, you know, skeletal, skeletal remains of people. So it's been an incredible um, archaeological, of, of incredible archaeological value. Um, and then, of course, the eruption itself is, um, you know, it was a really large eruption. Um, volcanic ash and debris were ejected 21 miles up into the atmosphere. Um, so it was a really incredible um, explosive eruption. And it's cool because it happened in the presence of people. We have firsthand accounts of it. Um, Pliny the Younger, who's a very, you know, famous ancient Roman historian, um, recorded the eruption because um, unfortunately his uncle Pliny the Older um, died in the eruption so he recorded it from a boat and um, this type of eruption now is actually known as Plinian style eruptions because it was described by Pliny the Younger. Um, so these eruption styles are basically when you have ash and magma and debris and gas that are ejected in this huge column of of debris up into the atmosphere. Um, and so these little, these little pieces are um, part of what fell on the city. And so they're a little, a little memory of a really amazing geologic and a catastrophic human event. Now, since we can't hold this object with us, are they hard? Are they light? Are they heavy? They're very light. Um, they're probably mostly gas on the inside. They're kind of porous little bits of rock. Um, so this probably would have been ash that was um, kind of cemented together or um, uh, welded together is the term because they would have been hot. Um, but yeah, they're very rounded. They, they kind of look like um, little like bits of bread or something, like kind of a cracker almost. And they feel like that, you know, they're, they're hard, they're not spongy, but they're, they're definitely very light and they're kind of a light brown color. They have a little bit of maybe some kind of crystalline material in them. And where do these uh, currently reside with you? <laughs> um, they're in 
um, a little dish that I have that has a number of other kind of random like rocks and like bits of like bone and 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 like a dice like <laughs> I don't I don't organize my things super well but my room is just covered in rocks um, and and little treasures so it's it's just one of the one of the many many pieces that I have scattered about my room. Well, Eva, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure getting to see you again and having you be part of the Wonder Room. And if you or anyone else would like to participate in the Wonder Room, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Denison Museum or on social media if you use the hashtag Wonder Room and post your object. We'll make sure to like and share those objects as we continue to add uh, to our cabinet. So I look forward, hopefully, to seeing you again soon. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Yeah, thanks again. Bye.